Hello, welcome back to Creepy and Kooky Cali vlog. I'm Lauren Blair Donovan. I have Jordan Kurtzman with me here today. Hello. I met you five years ago. Oh, really? When I first moved okay. here and I joined Pinup Squirrels. We were yeah, shortly on a team together. It was yeah. short lived, then we bumped into each other at the pack. Yes for acting class <laughs> and that was right before the pandemic and now here we are and she's, Lady Grimaldi is being pet and having a grand old time right now. <laughs> we're at Valhalla Memorial Park which is I think understated comparatively to other cemeteries here and yet we are in, I will show, flip around in a second, we're in like a what would you even call this structure? Like a shrine? Like a, like a massive gazebo? Yeah, like know. a marble gazebo dedicated to aviation. Which, and we're looking at a plane, like, yeah, I'll, I'll do some circle <laughs> around. So this is pr pretty interesting. Uh, it has a lot of famous internments, I think over a hundred, but most are from the golden age or silent age of movies and most didn't pop out no, for there us. Were, there was just a lot of like 1920s ladies with like the little cupid's bow. Yeah. Like, yeah. There was a lot of that. It looks cool. I wish I was more well versed or recognized more people offhand because I'm sure this is clearly full of history. Um, but we have Pugsley, the original Pugsley from the Adams family that we're looking for. We have uh, Oliver Hardy. Spacing. I always get Stan and Oliver yeah. mixed up. Like, wait, which, which, which? Laurel and Hardy. We have the they Hardy. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we've been to Stan Laurel's grave. That was one of the first episodes, I think, at Forest Lawn, Hollywood Hills. So now we're gonna get the other half of that. Um, and then you found a cool one. If we can find it. Oh yeah. So it was this guy who was like a grandson or son of a famous Apache warrior, who then became like. Yeah. The Native American dude, you know, like one of five to get cast <laughs> in, in movies for like 40 years. He has like a very long resume. Yeah, so. pretty prolific and it just seems like what a cool person to find because we're still dealing with representation issues in Hollywood and he was an OG. So this is an interesting one for me too because uh, this is the first episode that I'm filming where I'm this, I'm wrapping up the series as far as I know. I've been planning on it. Uh, this is one of the cemeteries we haven't hit. I priority-wise want to get to all the ones that are local that I have not hit. And there's a, one or two that I need to go back to. But hello, I know you're having a good day. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I want to talk to you. Yeah, I, I'm gonna miss your cemeteries, but you know, yeah, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, that was great camera work. I'm <laughs> never get better at the selfie. But yeah, I've just decided like it's been so much fun, but there's other things kind of happening in my life and my mental health, at least on good days, seems to be doing better. Uh, this whole series, I didn't know it when I started it, but I was not, I, I knew I wasn't in a great place, but I was masking. <laughs> and then things kind of kept proceeding and last year was kind of messy, hence there wasn't as many videos and I want to finish what I started, but uh, Maybe I'll still be a dark comedian. I'm still probably going to talk about death and loss a lot, but uh, maybe I don't want to go to cemeteries all the time. Or maybe in the future I will, but it'll be from a different headspace or whatnot. So I'm trying to figure it out. But I'm excited you're here. Yeah, I'm enjoying this weird ass mausoleum. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Mausoleum gazebo. We'll go with that. <laughs> so we'll catch you guys in a minute when we find a grave. <laughs> Like, this is crazy. Like, this seems very modest, but then you go up. It's also on the National Register of Historic Places, which I don't know how big of a deal that is. It, that sounds official, yeah, if there's nothing else. Yeah, something on the outside. And then... Aviation Museum? Yeah, it's asking for volunteers. and oh, says it's open on Sundays. 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 It's like an advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> so Hollywood, you know? Yeah. And then these are all famous um, folks in aviation. Prominent, maybe, would be a good way to put it. So are these, see, are these, there's no way they're all buried here. I mean, I don't These are know. probably just in memoriam, I would but they say think. the final resting place of, and I'm like, maybe they're buried. Underneath here? Like, yeah, I have questions. So. No, that doesn't really make any sense. Yeah. Like, elsewhere, this is a plaque. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. 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 Like, I don
That's what I would think, because Amelia Earhart has a scenograph here, which is like an in memoriam that looks like a headstone, but it's not a headstone. But I'm not seeing her. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I was very confused by that. Yeah, sometimes, like when you're looking at all the find a graves lists, you see names that you know that take you out, and you're like, oh wait, that's not our John Stewart. That's a different John Stewart. That was a director in the '40s or whatever. But when I saw Amelia Earhart, I was like, oh, uh, I don't think that's accurate. And then I saw the scenograph. So right here. Oh, I see. Good catch. Most famous and one of the most beloved women flyers. Flyers, thank you, Stark. Uh, in the history of American aviation, I would agree. Yeah. I like that she's also just one of many blacks. Like she's not she's not a special one. Like yeah, this one's more ornate, yeah. or at least newer, maybe. Yeah. This looks a little faded, like the bronze. I think this was more gold. <laughs> I don't know a lot about aviation. I think this is cool, but it's yeah. kind of being lost on me. I know Amelia Earhart, but I'm kind of out after like, that. Someone who's like the assistant to the Wright brothers in here. Yeah, that's so, right. Yes. One of these. Forever wing to wing. And people are clearly coming to remember them because there's at least three. Yeah. One flower, two flower, and then there's a third. All right, we got Ken Weatherwax, who was the original Pugsley on the Adams family in the 1960s, the black and white version. It's really bright out, so yeah. we'll be brief. But um, did you watch the Adams Family? No. <laughs> did you watch the Adams Family Values with Christina Ricci or any of those I 90s parodies? I think I watched parodies? that one. Yeah, the, the night with Christina Ricci. And yeah, I like that a lot. I like the original series too. I watched it in the pandemic. Um, you know, old school. Yeah, I think I did watch a few episodes of it. That was the one where they had the, the hair. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, I think. Yes. Or was that the? No, that was no, the that thing. Was, that was, that was it thing. was the guy who had the yes. hair in his yeah, face. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Thing was that. That's right. Um. Yeah, I think the original Wednesday just died in the past year or two. Also, so and now Wednesday is having a huge revival yeah. with um Netflix. So we'll keep it brief. There's also a funeral happening not that far away. So. No disrespect to Ken, but we're gonna keep moving. But uh, I'm glad I got to see that because I do like old school TV a lot. So, and I'm a creepy goth girl, so of course I like the Adams family. So we thought this was just like a like an airplane. Yeah. But I saw a NASA logo on the side, and then there's a plaque saying "In memory of the Challenger crew," and we're both pretty bummed out. Yeah, I was thinking like, cool airplane, let's do like photos, and now I'm like, oh, this is a sad hit actually. <laughs> I don't know. That's a bummer. This is just so random, though, because I didn't know California had a lot to do with um, space flight. Yeah, I think of Texas and Florida when I. There's there's a lot of um, like the engineering, like uh, uh -huh. um, aeronautical engineering firms in Southern California. Yeah, I don't know. That's true. There, there is. Here. Not there's also JPL, so there's NASA stuff. Yeah. I feel like I should remember this one, 2003. I had memories. Yeah. But I don't, I'm a little confused by this the Columbia Challenger one. The Challenger one was before I was born and I still R right. know about it. Right. Know. Says Columbia yeah. on the side, huh? I, huh? I feel weird for not. Interesting. Yeah. And portal of the folded wings. That's a cool little garden. Yeah. We are driving around looking for our next grave, and there's a horse and carriage here that Jordan uh, pointed out. And I've seen horses at a graveyard before. I had questions. It's like Cinderella's carriage. Yes, it's good very call. Ornate. 
I mean, I hope if this is someone's wishes that they're gonna, this is what they wanted. And there's a guy in a tuxedo. Mm -hmm. Um, There's two guys with tuxedos, so. Can you imagine if we did like the Friends intro oh at a funeral? It or the, exactly like the Friends. Kind of, yeah. like we should just get in and like yeah. play I'll Be There For You and see how many people want us to leave. I feel like, because <laughs> like, they shot that when the pilot had yeah, I think so. Like, how weird it must be to like, okay, we're splashing around in the fountain. I mean, they shot the pilot, so they're like, yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh. And then it became this like iconic thing that you did. Yup. On like a Tuesday. It's just like, yeah, just a look down. I don't know. Before yeah. I move out of my place, there's a fountain in my place. Maybe you saw it uh, on the way out or something. Know, right? yeah. But <laughs> before I move, I want to like recreate the friends <laughs> intro with all my friends, but it's got to be when I've already said I'm leaving in case yeah. I get in trouble. <laughs> like when you're, you're walking out with a check for your security deposit. Exactly. I'm a great girl that way. I won't <laughs> do it in a cemetery, but I'll do it as I'm leaving. Alright, so are you someone who's like afraid of death? Are you com- I mean, no one likes uh, it, but you know what I mean? Like some people it's like, I'm good to go whenever. Some people are like, no. Yeah, I would not like to die now. I feel like I'm yeah, you have some yeah. good stuff going on. That but, makes sense. You know, I, I don't know. It's a, I also feel like when you're dead, you're dead. So it's more about the people who survive. That's true too. Like if I were to die, I would be like, well, I'm, I'm gone. I'm done. Do you believe in an afterlife, or do no. you believe? Yeah. So you wouldn't even know that you were dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't. It's. I don't know. Jews don't, don't really do that. So. Yup. I'm with you. I don't. I don't believe in an afterlife. Yeah. I mean, Except I'd love for, to be wrong. It'd be cool. Like but animals, I do still try to <laughs> imagine that there is a heaven for cats and dogs. But <laughs> yeah, I the the sort of like Jewish. It's not even heaven. It's called like the world to come, and it's almost right. like messianic more than anything else. Right. So yeah, I just have always been like, yeah, when you're dead, you're dead. Um. Yeah. I'm yeah, I respect that. I also just respect any idea of an afterlife, quote unquote or otherwise. Yeah. That's like, you know, not, um, you have to be good to get in. Like, I feel yeah. like there's so many, like, carrots dangled and people are not good, good place, for goodness sake. Place, yeah. Yeah. So, this is Dying not, light. we're looking for uh, Oliver Hardy's. I see something over there and okay. I see photos. So, if I were a betting man, I'd say that they're. There's some symbols around here, and there's that Masonic thing. Yes. Middle. Thank you for identifying that. I'll flip it for a second. Yeah, I was looking at that, and I was like, that's something, but my memory doesn't work at the time. Yeah. I think you're completely right. Jordan found Oliver and Hardy, and it, she pointed out it's different than most of them. Most are gray, and this is bronze Black and gold. gold. Yeah, very distinguished. And, la la, I'll go closer, but he's got this whole thing. So wild to me that this is like a section, and then he has this huge plaque, and there's dozens yeah. of others, and then it's like people paying it's homage also to him. Still, so. by the Sons of the Desert. I don't know what that is. Um, is that like a like reference to something? Oh wait, oh, because it was 20 years after he died. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's like it's a version of like the Rotary Club or something. Amazing. Yeah. I don't know. That would make sense. It would it would be wild if like you picked out this place before someone famous died, <laughs> and then after your death. Again, if you're dead, you're dead. You don't yeah. know necessarily, but um, it's pretty wild that like yeah. you don't know who your neighbor is gonna be potentially. Some people could be coming. Yeah. Yeah, you could get overshadowed. Your stuff thunder could get stolen by a giant. Well, we sort of talked about this a little bit in the car. I was telling her a little bit about how Forest Lawn Glendale has so many locked away places. Yeah. Even though I miss Jimmy Stewart and his is out in the open, I don't know, unless I do a mini episode, and just because I know where he is, or at least the area, I don't want to go back and do another banger because it's just too frustrating. Yeah. To, it's not good footage. It's me and, you know, uh, Katie O'Hearn just talking in my car about the graves, which is fine if you're into podcast conversation, but yeah. it's not good visuals. But yeah, it's like, apparently, Carol Lombard and her husband, I always forget, yeah. it's one of those famous old Hollywood types that kind of blur together for me. 
but I might just mixing up people. Like Gabor, no, Shadow Gabor. Gabor. No, that's no. not how I'm thinking okay. of. This is why I can't do this series anymore, guys. My memory is not back to normal. My memory was failing me since episode one, and I just need to do some mental health stuff to get it back. But basically, though, it's locked away now. Yeah. And the security guard told us that they, she thought it was um, because Michael Jackson's buried in the same mausoleum. Oh, and even though he's locked away, Got it. there's crazy MJ fans that yeah. are patrolling and this is the fanciest mausoleum ever. So people yeah. literally probably pay for their piece sure, yeah. or the families do. So it's like, there could be people buried that wanted the foot traffic, Yeah. but MJ got buried there yeah. and other famous people on they're like their families or their neighbors' families. We're like, no, no, no. tourists. So it's pretty wild. I don't think Laurel Hardy fans are Laurel and Hardy fans are anywhere near as crazy as MJ fans. So no, that's good. <laughs> they died so long ago at this yeah, point I don't too. Think there are people being like making murals in every neighborhood of Michael Jackson. Something of uh, yeah. Laurel and Hardy. No, there's not like Twitter accounts talking no. about their life and trying to defend them. Yeah. <laughs> Which we're not going to touch that with the yeah. temple. But I'm excited to see this one because, well, my dad's name was Hardy. And it's what the channel's name is, Hardy Har Har. Yeah. It's an homage, homage to my dad. So um, I, I've seen Laurel and Hardy stuff, but I don't know it backwards and forwards, admittedly. Yeah. But I know that they did a lot for like physical and visual yeah. comedy. And I, I, don't know, I need to do a deeper dive as an adult. He was a sure. genius of comedy. His talent brought joy and laughter to all the world. See, That's I appreciate nice. yeah. his epitaph because some people, John Ritter's is just like son, brother, friend. Yeah. It's like also a comedy genius. <laughs> like you can be, you can maybe not even say that, but you can be like actor. Yeah. It's fine. Beloved entertainer. He has a yeah. Beatles quote. Like it's yeah. so sub, like it's yeah. so like, which I respect. I, I don't mind a humble grave. Well, this but is also, this, this is like the extra plaque. Yeah, this isn't, that wasn't even his choice. You're right. There. Sons He's, of the desert, whoever they are. We're gonna Google them later. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, we tried to find Charles Stevens, the Native American actor that we mentioned in the beginning, and we can't seem to find him. We think we're in the right section. We're not sure. We don't know. <laughs> uh, we did our best guesstimate. According to Find a Grave, they don't have a photo of his grave, but they have an arrow, which makes me think it might be unmarked, which happens from time to time, so we tried. <laughs> We're just not meant to find this guy. Yeah, and it's like a nice day, but it's just hot enough in an open field, unless on our way there out. There are also coyotes. So yes, yes. We're going to keep the grin yeah. protected. <laughs> yeah, we literally saw one. We also saw the carriage that we showed from the car right before we went to uh, uh, Oliver Hardy's grave. They were doing a procession, yeah. and we were like, "Okay, we're not going to film very, that." Like interesting looking casket. In it. It's purple and gold, yeah. which I like. Yeah. I don't think you yeah. need a nice casket. You can just do normal wood. It's kind of an up sale thing yeah. that funeral homes get you on. But at the same time, I like colors, so I'm not against having a fancy casket either. Yeah. And it was a it was a very pretty procession, and I see the horses being loaded into the car now, actually. They're so. out. The only time I've seen that is on TV when Aaliyah, the singer, died. Oh. I think she, I think she had like a casket like that okay. in New York. Where she, I think that's where she was buried. Yeah. Um, but other than that, besides royalty, I have not seen that. So good for whoever that yeah. was. Hopefully they lived a nice long life. Yeah. Cemeteries make you think. Mm -hmm. um, I never asked you this. Are you? I'm assuming you're comfortable in cemeteries. Oh yeah, yeah. I, you agreed. I, yes, yeah. As I was saying previously, there are a lot of. I'm from Boston. There are a lot of really old cemeteries in Boston. So yeah, it's kind of normal, I think, to be like, oh, let's look at these graves from the 1600s and like see all these children who died of consumption. And whatever. Yep. Like, yeah. I think a lot of my friends that grew up either on the East Coast or some country town are like, yeah, cemeteries. <laughs> and everyone that's from LA is like, or like other big cities are like, um, sure, I'll name. They either say no to me or they'll be like, oh, yeah, we'll go. And then by the end, they're like, oh, this was fine. This was fun, actually. I'm like, see, but yeah, if you're, if you're around history slash the country and there's cemeteries, yeah. you're going to go play in them like yeah. I did as a kid. So I guess that kind of wraps it up. 
There's a lot going on. There's more. We started on a really high note, which was the Give me an in. Hi, now now we're back on the ground, and they're yeah. setting up for yet another cem uh, cemetery, ugh, funeral. So I think we're gonna wrap it up because yeah. there's just a lot happening here, there's and I feel a little awkward. There's a lot of balloons and balloons, fans. Yeah. Flowers. Fountains and literally flights flying over all the time. <laughs> I cannot believe we've had to not hold for plane more. Uh, it's like you're it's been like very loud. The plane. It's so loud. We're so. so close to the Burbank Airport, so I guess if you had to have an aviation memorial, this is a good spot. Yeah. Otherwise, whatever's nearest LAX. But here we are. But all right. Well, this is Jordan Kurtzman, Lauren Donovan, and stay alive until next time. Bye. <laughs>